Hello, today I'm going to show you where the data is stored for your projects. So as we know, if I go here in Microsoft Project, I will have all my projects here and I can handle them one by one. Okay, this is the current status of my ERP project. Here in Project Accelerator, I can see all my projects. But let me go back to Power Apps. Okay, here I can see data. Under the data, I have tables, choices, data flows, etc. etc. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how can you uh, customize your choices. But today, I am going to stay focused on tables. So all data are stored in tables. There are multiple tables which are used by Project for the Web and also uh, by Project Accelerator. So I will choose here tables. And first of all, to see all tables, as you can see, I don't have many tables here, nor do I have any project table here. So is something missing? No. The filter is set by default to default. So I will say all. And if I choose all, I will get much more tables than I have by uh, when I uh, when the default uh, was cho uh, chosen. So here I will scroll down and I will see a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, tables which belongs to project. So project, project bucket, project checklist, project import, etc., etc. I will so here all project data are stored. I'm not going to cover table by table one by one. I will just uh, uh, show you one table so you can see what is inside. If you want to know more, you should uh, examine each and every table and you will see which data are stored inside that table. For this purpose, I will go here and I'm sorry, and I will go to tables. And once again, I will show you what is in project task, for example. I will choose project task. Okay, I have something, okay, restricted table. And I will see that I here have percentage of complete created by, created by them. Created on which uh, tasks are on critical path, uh, etc., etc. You can see that I have a lot of fields inside of project table. What I can do here is I'm going back to tables, I will go to project task table, and then I can export that table to. Excel. How can it be done? I will show you in a moment. So let me go in project task table and here I will see all fields and I will go to data, edit data to in Excel. So I will have exported fields in Excel. And I can open this file. And when I open this file, I will get here all the fields. But as you can see, there is nothing inside. I will go to enable editing. And after a while, I will have here some error which I should ignore. And I will get for each and every project, as you can see, ERP project summary task, I have web project summary task, I have web shop project summary task, and all tasks which belong to specific project with their uh, summary task, milestones, all tasks are here. So what I have, who is the owner, which, uh, which project look at, table is it, uh, 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 it's in it, uh, which uh, bucket is in, uh, it has, uh, what is the active ta uh, 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 project task status, percentage of completing, is there a task on critical path or not, 
uh, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Duration, effort, duration in days, effort in days, uh, uh, effort, effort in hours, effort completing in hours, effort remaining, etc. etc. As you can see, a lot of data uh, is here. So all of data. What does it mean? A lot. All of data from here are exported to Excel. Be aware. That, uh, that somehow it can be useful, but there's a lot of data which you be aware what the, uh, does they uh, uh, mean and how to interpret them. This is far beyond this uh, uh, vlog because it will take me hours to, uh, to explain each and every single data, every single column, or each and every single field. This is just for purpose that you uh, should be aware that the data can be exported from specific table to Excel, and you can then do with those data whatever you want. But last but not least, if you want to export data to CSV format, you can go uh, here in data, and you will not use any data in Excel, but export data. And in that, per, uh, and if you click on export data, you will have to wait for a while. And after the exporting, your data will be finished. You will see that you should download the, uh, those data in CSV file. And when you download uh, the data in a CSV file here, data will be downloaded and you can open it and you uh, do whatever you want with that. For summary for this video is that data is stored in tables for the project. They are stored in uh, tables which usually uh, uh, start with project names, so project, project bucket, project checklist, etc, etc. And there are many fields in each and every of, uh, of the, uh, this uh, table. And if you want to learn more, you just have to go here and examine. This is not a, 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 a search by yourself because this video is not about how data is structured, but just to show you where the data is stored. Hope this somehow helps and thank you very much. See you very soon.